This is unresearched example number five. I'm Jason Hobbs, and this is my example strategic planning, this time for a local accounting firm, which is maybe three blocks away, like not four. So that's an older picture of the team. That is the brick thing out front. You can see in the bottom left of the picture, the, um, the brown door there in the middle is their actual place. So I did a quick search on Google, and as, whoops, as you can see, um, they don't have a website currently. Now they had one at one point, then they got rid of it, and they've never really done much with digital marketing from what I, and it, like I said, unresearched example. I just, I haven't seen a lot, me personally. So the goal is with digital marketing strategy, I divide it into two parts. So get attention, keep attention. Getting attention, we focus on the media that we create everywhere but the website. So media outside of the website, that's getting attention. That could be paid, that could be organic, that could be any number of things. So keeping attention, that's the website. And it's more specifically, it's the media on the website. So, and that includes a digital store. All right, so this is a working demo that I put together. That's a screenshot of the homepage. And the goal of this plan is to cease the digital sharecropping. And it's not so much that they're even digital sharecropping, actually. It's more of a case that they're just not doing digital at all. So my thinking is, okay, let's get them started, right? Let's. What's a quick start to a, with a very firm foundation to build upon, but that allows them to get up and going and actually helps the business, right? It's not just, oh, we did a vanity project, so to speak. It's, okay, this is now a viable component of the business. Interactions, we wanna make them effortless for people. We also wanna make it super easy for people to research the available services that they offer, as well as make it super easy for people to work with the staff at Lamar Purvis on their taxes and you know checking their account with the CPA firm and so forth. We want the simple digital communication and we wanna make sure that it's also uh, mobily responsive, right? So the customer POV is people or businesses in need of ongoing tax help and bookkeeping services that relate to Lamar Purvis and his team and the way that they handle business. We'll start like within 30 miles and 60 miles, but it really is, it becomes a geography is out of the equation once you're actually baked into digital. All right, so what is the uh, pressing problem? Well, the expertise that's available, the acumen of the staff is the taxes and the accounting and the CPA and being able to provide those services to customers with the minimal stress from the customer's po point of view, right? Their perspective. So that's the problem that they're solving. And the solution is a digital version of the brick and mortar experience. What they're already doing between brick and mortar and on the phone, now add a digital component. What I mean by digitally efficient is we're just simplifying the typical points of customer interaction. We're baking digital into the experience of working with Lamar Purvis LLP or CPA. All right, so you know, solving a tax problem or practicing preventative maintenance on their bookkeeping or an account or financials so as far as any number of ways that Lamar and his staff, after, I don't even know, 40, 50 years worth of experience on the team, obviously there's loads of ways that they can help people. By making it as simple as possible for people to interact with them, it just makes it easier. It makes their acumen more accessible. And acumen is monetizable. So customer point of views, access, brick and mortar, just like normal, same scheduling process, however they want to do it. But you know, in the same hours of operation, but now we're adding the website in to, that'll work 24 seven, 365. So the media on the website, that's the keeping attention stuff, right? So some people are gonna walk through it on video, others are gonna prefer to have it written out with screenshots or, you know, whatever, right? So we just wanna make it as simple as possible. So the value is make it simple for people to interact with their accountant, with their CPA firm. All right, so the education, see, I would probably stick with something along that the same lines as I mentioned last time, which is you know something along the message of they've been here for a while, we're here, we care, and we have for years. Like, I, they helped me get my incorporation started back in 2008. 
So they've been around and they've been helping people and they've had, they have a lot of customers. We just want to add the digital component and we want to help them with both, you know, new and the current ones because the current ones have smartphones these days, you know, and they're online and they have, um, you know, high speed internet, etc. It's just, that's how it is. Whereas in 2008, that wasn't as prevalent, but 2018, almost 2019, I mean, <laughs> everybody's online so the plan foundation is the website right and whatever they would call it lamarpurposellp.com or however they want https would be important we want secure socket layer just like the bank website unresearched example number five and the media i'd start with video and i'd start with video of just some interviews with the staff to start to understand what questions that they hear from people, get answers to those to begin with, and then otherwise just have some the basic topics, identify what the basic topics are. That's where I would start. And you, you don't have to hire a Hollywood director, <laughs> you know, and, and the camera team and you have lights everywhere and so forth in order to put out quality video because the vast majority, all they care about is the message. Like, does it say what they need? Because if they come to a CPA video, you know, odds are <laughs> they got a CPA question, right? So that's the idea. And we put those on the website, but then you, at the same time, you're putting stuff on different other websites so the customer conversation i would bring live chat in and i would bring and you know you're just adding it you're adding live chat to the current setup with the phone and they already do some email but i would do additional email would do what they're doing where they're emailing directly but then starting to do some automated stuff as well so the live chat actually it's not installed on the website yet <laughs> on the demo so i'll have to add it it'll show up in the bottom right hand corner so the campaigns, I, I'd start with this marketing strategy as usual of customer intimacy. I'm almost 99% sure that's what Lamar has been running for years. Again, this is an unresearched example. But I'd start with an awareness of the firm's heart. I haven't spoken to them in years and years. So the idea would be to sit down and just understand like what drives them, what are they good at, what are they excited about, what are the things that they're thinking about, and getting capturing that on video so that we could use that. You know, but at the same time, it would also inform the strategy that we would put together. But that's the first place to start is at the heart of the matter, because any business, there's a heartbeat, so to speak, a pulse to it. And that's all that I'm trying to do when I'm doing any kind of marketing. So audience ideas, you know, personal taxes, business taxes, bookkeeping clients, but understanding every one of those is a human being. You know, that's what has driven the business of word of mouth for years is because they relate to Lamar and his team and they appreciate the, the expertise and the acumen and so forth, right? So budget, same thing, 89 bucks. Liquid Web, you do the uh, WooCommerce beginner plan, manage WooCommerce over at liquidweb.com. 39 bucks a month, 50 bucks a month for Drift. That's for the live chat for two operators and includes the email uh, campaigns and one-offs and so forth. And then hypothetical first ad budget, 500 bucks to get going. I would start with Facebook ads. I build the website, but I'd start by and I'd probably just pay for link clicks back over to the website to actually view some sort of 101 um, refresher course for you know business owners and taxes. You're showing them an individual video or series of videos, and then that's what you're advertising in the Facebook ads. There's a lot of different ways that you can build off of that. So getting attention, Facebook and within 40 miles of brick and mortar, is what I would focus on to begin with. And if you're doing a lot of video, then YouTube pre-roll ads very well could be an option. You know, you take a 15, 20 second clip, whatever, and then you know, you could also run some one minute ads over on Instagram just because there's so many eyeballs there. So a lot of different options. All that we want to do is get the attention of Lamar Purvis and his team's ideal customer, and then we'll get the attention wherever but then we're going to keep the attention back on the website. Automated ads, I, I just wanted to run through this just to show how easy it is. So like on-site sales, you just put the address, the ads are all the same basic layout. You have a headline, which is Fitzgerald Humane Society. You have the call to action button, and then you have a little ad copy, you know, and then you also have an image. So, and just to show you like five bucks a day, 
1,200 to 2,500 people reached within, I think that's set to a 30 mile radius of Fitzgerald. So, and he's right around the corner. So definitely applicable, right? So keep the attention at the website with the website media channels. So audio, video, and written, I would have all of them housed there. And, the, you know, that's the research. That's when people have heard about the CPA's team in Fitzgerald. They want to find out some more about them for whatever reason, about taxes or about this or financial, you know, whatever. And that's also where they would be able to access their customer accounts as well so that, you know, they always have access to it. I'm not sure that they have a database that feeds a website all this information for people. It, obviously, you have to keep it secure, but I mean, that's the same thing with anything these days. So a couple of suggestions that I would give just because it's a local business, local accounting firm. I'd start with gatherup.com. It used to be get five stars. It sets up a customer feedback loop, which is so important because what they do is they send an email and it's a scale of one to 10. It's called an NPS score, um, net promoter score. And all it does is ask, would you recommend Lamar one to 10? And if they reply, then if it's one through eight, you know, they put them into basically a customer service queue. And if it's a nine or a 10, then they thank them and invite them to share publicly by putting a testimonial. And then they'll have links to a Yelp button, a Facebook button, et cetera, just so it's super easy. And the goal obviously is to have happy customers and have customers talking about it socially. So bright local, just some local SEO tools that can give some ideas about the NAP or name, address, and phone number for Lamar Purvis, and just make sure that it's in line. Because if, if they don't match up exactly, and it's case sensitive, so to speak, so if they don't match up exactly, then Google breaks it up into two different businesses. So you lose a lot of the benefit there. And there are services these days where for like five bucks a, a listing, you can, they'll go through and do a five-step process or whatever, or three-step process where they, you know, make sure that it's correct and they follow up later to make sure that it, you know, has remained correct, etc. cetera. Data box for reporting dashboards. This is something that an accounting firm could definitely use. So data box could be really, really big. At some point, I'm going to do some videos on data box. Zapier.com. I just use that to pipe everything from, say, gather up or from bright local or from wherever, or from Stripe or from PayPal or whatever. I bring all of that onto a timeline within Drift, the live chat and email that we mentioned earlier. So, all right, uh, the next one I'm doing is for a local church that I've had as my customer since 2012, I believe. So over six years now, it's uh, gracepointvaldosta.com, and I'm going to do a quick thing for them. And the one after that, I know as well, but I'm not going to tell you yet. 